you will see a side of me you do not want to see. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, are you already OCD? Baby, you can come any, any day now. Come on. Come on, eggs. Good morning, muchacho. So it is 10.42. Edam just like ran out the door because he had to go to... Um, what? Yes, to work, but also to UPS to pick up a package because they tried to deliver a package to us on Monday, but we weren't here, and I guess UPS won't just leave the packages house. at the door. Yeah, in the new house. So, and then he had to go to work. So, the internet people Mommy, should be here that's, that's, within like. I washed it. Should be here within. Because I washed it. So I found all of Alondra's stuffed animals and I have a bunch of them in the washer machine. But these two guys here I have to like hand wash. So I um I just got done hand washing this one. Oh yeah, he still works. Okay, good. Um so yeah, I just hand washed this one, but I'm like thinking, did all the soap come off? I don't know. Nope, they didn't. I need to get all the soap off. And then I need to wash this one here. I don't know. I just feel comfortable washing them. So anyways, yeah, I just want to wash them, so that way they're just clean. It just makes me feel better. So I have a bunch in the wash right now. I need to actually empty out the dryer and I need to wash those. But the internet people are gonna be here within like 30 minutes to an hour. So yeah, I like am trying to make sure like everything's ready to go by the time they get here. And I'm so excited to have internet, you guys. So, so excited. But I had all my vlogs and all my videos like ready to go. So it actually worked out really well. You too, you're excited too? Uh-oh, daddy called me. The technician is on their way and I folded all of the towels that were in the dryer because I just like left them there and I put them in the closet that's like right by Alondra's between Alondra's bathroom and bedroom. I think all towels will go there. I will leave some towels for Edom and I like in our closet just so that way we're not having to like, not like we're walking across the apartment is like so far but do you know what I'm saying? Just for convenience purposes, I'm gonna definitely leave towels and hand towels um, in our bathroom. That way, it's just convenience, like I said. But anyways, I'm having my second cup of joe. And you guys, I forgot to show this creamer yesterday, but I was telling my mother-in-law last night, she really should get this creamer. It's really good. Um, she's not going on a keto diet or anything, but um, she likes organic and like stuff like that. So I was like, oh, you should try this. And um, But, we don't think her Costco is going to have it because I, we realized this was distributed in Austin, Texas. A lot of Costco's sell different things depending if it's local or not. Like for instance, the Costco out here, you can only buy one, you, you can buy as many jugs of milk as you want, but you can buy one. At the Costco in San Diego, you had to buy two. It was a two pack. You couldn't just buy one. So, which I'm really actually happy that we could just buy one jug of milk because two is way too much for us. Um, so anyways, but yeah, let me show you this just in case you guys can find this anywhere. I'm really, really, really happy about it. You finished it? Oh, are you eating it? Okay, I'll show Muchacho. Hold on, Muchacho. We gotta show Alondra's. So I made her the apple juice, like, popsicle things, and she's loving them. Is it good? Uh-huh. Yeah? Okay. Did they have it before? You never had it before? Yesterday was your first time, huh? You like it? Oh, I like your shirt. You wearing Camacho Muchacho's merch? Yes. Sale ends October 29th, y'all. Just, you know letting y'all know to make sure you get it but all right let me show you the creamer so i think you say it like picnic i think literally that's how you say it but it's butter coffee creamer it is made with mct oil grass-fed butter no added sugar grass-fed whey protein i don't even know what that means but i looked on their website and um it does say that they um are like keto friendly so which i'm excited about because my biggest worry with going on the keto diet was honestly coffee. I'm like, if I can't have freaking coffee, I'm gonna lose my ish. Like, no way. Like, I know I can't have soda, and I've already been trying to like stop soda anyways, which I've been awful about as of late. Um, but like, no coffee and no soda. <sighs> you will see a side of me you do not want to see. So, anyways, um, but yeah, I looked it up, and it's like they are keto friendly or whatever. So I'm happy. And then I did buy. I'm just trying to use up this sugar in the raw because we have it. So hopefully we can use it all up before the diet. But if not, whatever. I'll just leave it in the in the pantry and let it tempt me. But I did buy. Um, did I buy the? I bought stevia because you're allowed to use stevia and coffee for the keto diet. If you have any good keto recipes, comment down below. Let me know. I have been on Pinterest like a crazy person, but. 
I like to know, you know, what you guys are doing. So definitely, I know a lot of you said you do keto or you've done it. So let me know recipes if you want to comment down below. But yeah, oh yeah, I did buy Stevia in the Raw. I love the Sugar in the Raw, that brown, that brand. I think the brand is, is it called in the Raw, I guess? I always thought it was Sugar in the Raw. But I realized that they sell more than just Sugar in the Raw. They have Stevia in the Raw. So since I like that brand so much, I was like, let me try their Stevia. I used to drink Stevia all the time when I was in college. Uh, not drink it use it in my coffee but i always use the brand truvia and like well back in college that's like when my body issues were i used to have like so many body image issues i'm trying to get over it now as i get older and especially having Edom and him just like just loving the way that i am and how i am you know and appreciating me so much i don't really have it so much but it's hard when you're told a lot of your life i don't know just think wow this is getting deep real quick but anyways why how did this go from stevia to body issues anyways but um but yeah so i used to drink what happened it fell down her apple juice popsicle fell so crisis is is, is averted no crisis is fixed it's all good now that's what I'm saying. But anyways, where I was trying to go with is, I think I will be okay with using Stevia in my coffee because I used to use it all the time in college. That's, that took a total left, left, left turn and now I'm bringing it a U-turn and we are back to the right topic. I don't know where the hell I was going with that. Sorry guys. Um, sometimes my brain is just like, doing, 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 doing. But anyways, yeah. So everyone's telling me like, ew, I don't know if you're going to be able to do like the Stevia. It's Stevia is gross, blah, 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 blah. Um, but I've had it before and I loved it. And so then I switched to brown sugar. So I think, I think I'll be good. Um, but yeah, the only thing that makes me nervous is that like I stopped Stevia actually in Truvia because I heard it causes cancer, but that's why I stopped it. But I don't know. We'll see. I feel like everything these days cause cancer. So I don't know. We'll see. We're going to do it for 30 days. And then um, also try to like, I'm going to try to like exercise. So is Edam. And then try to maintain. So we're not going to just like go on the diet and then like eat like crap again. We're not going to do that. We're going to try to, you know, maintain. And I'm hoping that we still like a lot of the recipes. I'm actually hoping we like all of the recipes. Um, but anyways, yeah, we'll see. So yeah, let me know your recipes. It is so good. That creamer is so good, you guys. Mm. So, 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 so good. But all right, the guy should be on his way. Edom told me that he's on his way. He texted me and his name is Dwayne. So I was like, okay, cool. And then as soon as he gets here, I can upload my Ikea haul. And yeah, well, it's already uploaded. It's on private but there's like a little things that I need to add. I don't want it to go public and then add it after the fact. I want everyone to see the video like how it should be. Do you know what I'm saying? But um, anyways, yeah, I'm going to actually edit the vlog for tomorrow because I don't have a video ready to go. It's been nice having like three videos ready to go like in a row. That was like amaze balls. but I need to edit and I don't want to be like unpacking while he's like here. I want to like, I mean, honestly, what is he going to take? Take some boxes, dude. Just take them. But, um, I don't know. I just don't want to be, like, in, like, another room and stuff like that. So I'd rather just, you know, edit. But it also might be awkward, like, editing. He might be like, girl, is that your voice I'm hearing? What are you doing? So, I don't know. We'll see. But for now, I need to import footage off of this because my memory card is full. So, I will check in with you guys later. I'm so excited, muchachos. We have Wi-Fi. We have TV. So, wait. What is on my... Is that... Oh no, we're good. So I am so freaking excited. Everything is working. It is 1.49. It took a lot longer than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be like something like bing, bang, boom, but it's all good in the hood. It's working and I'm happy. And yeah, so I'm going to get my Ikea vlog or Ikea haul up. I literally only have like two small little minor things to do and it'll be done. So that'll probably take me all of maybe like five minutes. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm actually going to start editing because I don't have a video ready for tomorrow. Oh yeah, and get a laundry cereal. Excuse me, what color do you want? Green or orange for your bowl? Um, green. Green, okay. Yeah, I had this issue this morning. I gave her a yellow bowl. Someone had a meltdown that I gave her a yellow bowl. She didn't want yellow, so you know what? Instead of avoiding... Oh, I, I, I don't know why you hate the color yellow. You still love that color when you're a baby. It is funny, like when she was little, her favorite color was yellow. 
Well, she's still little. But now, she like doesn't like yellow apparently and only likes the color, well, she likes all the colors, I guess, but yellow, but now her favorite color is pink. But anyways, all right. I'm gonna get her some, oh, and purple, okay. I'm gonna get her some cereal and get my Ikea haul up. I'm so excited to have internet. Uh. Yep, I have been posted up here for maybe two hours, three hours. Alondra's watching Hercules. Wi-Fi's working. I just got done editing the vlog for tomorrow. Um, well, tomorrow for me, but not when you guys see this. The vlog will already be up. By the way, that vlog, I'm just kind of like not sure about it because it's literally just me at the hotel editing all day. But I just spent like two, three hours working on it and it's exporting. So I don't want to spend any more time editing any more vlogs. So that's going to go up. If you guys hated that vlog, I'm just going to apologize now. But, um, you know, <laughs> I had to get all of those videos done and that was that day I couldn't make that vlog any more interesting. So yeah, so anyway, just in case any of you guys are like, why did you even upload that video? Now you know why. I don't have time to get any more, do any more editing. And then also, I mean, sometimes days just aren't exciting. <laughs> and, oh, but yeah, so anyways, did I even say what time it is? Do you guys even want to? It's 4.41 and I haven't even unpacked. Well, I've unpacked one box because technically I washed all of Alondra's like stuffed animals, which should be done. I think I'm going to, I want to start working on Alondra's room. Um, just to like have a change of, oh my God. Oh, this child. This is, I mean, I guess it could be worse, but oh lordy, lordy, lord. Oh, it's chilly in her room. <sighs> okay. Anyways, well, good thing I did decide to work on her room today. So I think I'm going to put all the stuffed animals here because then it'll be, because before they were on top of this, but like this was vertical, standing up, not horizontal, like it is. So anyways, and they all fit on the very top of that. So they all should definitely fit on the top of here. Plus, I mean, not much can really fit on the top of this when you think about it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Um, and then I think I'm gonna take these hats out and I'm gonna put them in her dresser and I'm gonna put the ha um, hats in the dresser and then in here I'm going to put, I've been thinking about this, like this kind of stuff. So like, pu oh, hello, puzzles and like this kind of like stuff here. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and yeah, oh my God, there's so much stuff. So I think what I need to do first is I don't even want to start. It's so bad when I'm just like, eh, maybe I'll go into a different room. But it's cold. Like, why am I so cold? And I have the heater on. I think I'm going to be in your room. I need to fix your room. Don't you want me to make your room pretty? Okay. <sighs> I need a jacket. Because Mama's cold. Mama is cold. Where's their jacket? There's got to be one in here. Here we go. Got my little fuzzy slipper socks on, my jacket, I'm good.
my gosh, you guys, I found Alondra's baby book. And like, look, this is her umbilical cord. I see. This. Careful though. Don't, don't mess with that, okay? That was that was in your belly button when you were a baby. Huh? This was in your belly button when you were a baby. Why? Because that's all babies have that. And it's like a little thank you note from the hospital. So it's like, um, oh, this fell off. But um I an invitation it. for the baby shower. I did. Yeah, Alondra was messing with it. And then all of like her monthly pictures, I kept that. But I honestly don't think I filled any of this out. Like I should have. Yeah, I'd never filled any of this out. Oh. Wait, dirt told... on my hand pills. Yeah. Dude. Oh, that's for a lock of hair and other keepsakes. So like for your umbilical cord. Mm. I guess I should have. Oh no, I started to fill it out. What did I fill out? The name I was given, Alondra. What my name means. Songbird or defender of mankind. Oh. Famous people who share my name, Alondra, Mexican singer, also a 1995 telenovela. Mommy's food cravings during pregnancy. Pizza. Yep, that's right. Always and forever. Pizza. pizza, pizza. Okay, so I did write out some stuff, but pizza, pizza, that was pizza. just cute. All right, books are done. Somebody pushed them back, even though I wanted them lined up. Hmm. But I want my dash of the repeating. Doesn't it look better when it's like this, Gorda, when it's lined up like this? No. See, this looks better than this that. This looks better. Oh my gosh, are you already OCD? I read this. You want to read that? Okay. So anyways, this is all done here. And then these are books that I weaned out that she just doesn't well, look at and we don't need anymore. I although, I know, although I'm sure there's probably others that we can wean out, but... Bell I don't know. Bear. Just going to keep them. I know. We can't find Brown Bear. That's like one of my all-time favorite books. Brown Bear and the Very Hungry Caterpillar. And I can't find Brown Bear. So I'm hoping it's in another box. But yeah, and I moved these cool. to the bottom. And I really like the way that that looks. So yeah, I'm going to put these in like one of these tubs. Because these are like tubs of clothes that need to be sold. <laughs> crazy to see like all of her stuffed animals and I still have tons of room but uh we're not adding to the stuffed animal collection if I could get rid of all of them I would but like I'm slightly attached to all of them because I know every single one who gave it to her and where they came from so I just I can't but if I could I would a few moments later so yeah I said oh she didn't have any stuffed animals that I thought she did well I found more you guys I found more. Okay, it is coming along in here. I just got that out of the dryer. I need to put that back on that and then put that in Alondra's room. I broke down maybe three, four more boxes. And then these are all filled with like that paper trash. Yes, I'm talking to muchachos. But as you guys can see, it looks so much better. This is a, um, all of this actually. This, 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 this is all... Alondra baby stuff like this is a mama roo jumper just oh my gosh okay baby but um yeah I mean honestly this is just and this box can get broken down too because this is literally just a shelf a workout mat and this was in Alondra's room I don't know if I'll use it though again but I guess I can just take it out and aside but yeah actually I'm surprised it's like in still really good shape but I painted this and it was just like an A and it was just in her room. I could still use it because it's cute. I might just repaint the A, which I actually saw in a pillow bag. I don't know why it was in a, here it is. 
I painted it like purple to match her room. I might paint it pink to match her room because she doesn't have purple in the sheets. Paint it pink? Okay, maybe I'll do that and that way that could still hang up in her room and just stay in her room. Um, but yeah, the shelf that Edom made and the big shelf right here, which this is pretty heavy, so I'll need Edom to get it out when he gets home. Uh, I'm a beast. I could probably get it out. But anyways, yeah, and then I could just break down this big box. And then literally the boxes over here is just, well, that's all my planner stuff. That's my baby. Um, this is all literally just desk stuff. How freaking crazy is that? That this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's another eight eight boxes of desk crap, like holy-ish. I'm gonna need to go through all of that though. And then this literally is baby stuff, baby stuff. Um, and then this is just stuff that actually needs to go into my room. It's just like miscellaneous items. And then what do we have? Pillows, stuff to sell, which I sold something. Yes, I made five dollar make you holla. Um, what is this? This is comforters and blankets. Baby stuff, this is DVDs, books, and then that is like board games, which I will either put in our room or I'll probably put in that closet there. I don't know, we'll see. And then this is literally just more closet shit. So yeah, that's like literally everything. It's just honestly now just like random shit to put away. If we didn't have all this baby stuff, it wouldn't look as crowded, but I don't know what to do. It's like, oh, it's just one of those things. It's like so difficult, so. I don't know you guys I don't know I might go through some of it though just to see what it is like because maybe it's just like some baby junk that's like we don't need you know what I'm saying so I might go through some of it just to see um but honestly I will worry about that later for now I guess it can stay in here because I mean I wish we had like a bigger storage I mean they do actually have garages that we can rent and like storage units like on property that we can rent I don't know how much it is but I don't know if we want to do that either so I don't know we'll see we'll figure it out I'm not gonna stress about it right now one of those things is cloth diapers though which that's a lot of cloth diapers I know and so you know I'm was saying that maybe put I'm not pregnant by the way guys but just to like get rid of that like Tupperware jug Mama. oh gosh yeah I have to show you what happened. Okay, baby, just be careful. Um, this guy here. So this was what held all of Alondra's cloth diapers. And it I'm almost saying we could always put this into our closet and then put cloth diapers on it again. Like, don't get rid of it. Keep it. So we might move this guy into our closet and just use it. And I might just put the cloth diapers in there now just to get rid of that tub. I don't know um, if that's crazy or not. But yeah, I was going to put her books here, but then we decided not to do that. And I, you know, I put the books down here, which I really like. So the stuffed animals will go here. These two cubbies, I'm not sure yet. One is going to be... Um, Come on, Brittany. Come on. Think, oh. think, think. One is going to be like her coloring, like art stuff, to though. My bed. To bed. To... Oh, yeah. And this is the mess that we made. But it's not that bad. I'm just got to go through it. it. You're playing with it. Yeah. Oh, the other one I think is going to be Play-Doh. That's what it was. Um, Where is it? Um, the Play-Doh. Yeah, that's in another box. We'll have to look for that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so here's, here's her toys, you guys. I just need to... Oh. Put them in there. I really want to go through her toys though and get rid of some of them. Um, I did a small bag already, which is like little like junky toys, you know, like Happy Meal toys that you don't need. Like I already did Happy that. Toys. Yeah, don't listen to me. <laughs> but um, I did that, and I mean she's not even gonna notice. But like some of these toys, I'm just like I don't know. It's like same thing with the stuffed animals. Like, it's like, oh, you want to get rid of it, but then you're like, oh, but this, but that, but this, and it's like, oh. But anyways, yeah, I'm like obsessed with her closet. I'm really loving it. Also, these shoes, I'm gonna go through, you do, these shoes are all up here. I'm gonna go through them and see what shoes, like, eh, sell, eh, keep for future babies, so, I don't know. Do you guys think that's crazy to keep stuff for future baby? You can be honest and comment down below and tell me if you guys think that we're batshit crazy. I'm totally okay with that. It'll, it'll not change me from keeping it though. So <laughs> it is what it is, but yeah, I don't know you guys. 
Oh, I have to go through so much stuff. But I'm making progress, which is good. My video is already up on the YouTubes. I just need to, what do you mean to call it? What do I need to do? I don't know. Uh, oh, description, thumbnail, title, all of that. Because I have not done that yet. So I actually think I'm going to take a break from this because I feel like I deserve it. And I know with her being awake that no matter what I do, she's just going to, what baby? How do I do what? Oh, here, I'll fix it right now. Okay, move your finger. Move your finger. Mommy, do it. Mommy, fix it for you. Don't worry about it. Anyways, I know no matter what I do right now, like organizing, she's just going to make a mess. What, baby? All right. Let me, let me see what she's trying to do. But anyways, yeah. That's the progress with this. Look who's home. So excited. Honey Booski got me some tacos. They're two for a dollar, so awesome deal if you're trying to be cheap and they're actually pretty good so i got four got some french fries and then some buttermilk ranch that i like to pour inside my taco which i know sounds weird but it's freaking delicious try it and then hot sauce of course well actually this is taco sauce wait is this hot sauce oh yeah their taco sauce is hot sauce oh anyways those two and the taco so freaking good Mmm. Mmm. So good, you guys. So good. Oh, damn it. I left my Coke in the room and Alondra sleeping. She fell asleep at 8.05. It's currently 9.36. Damn it. You have to have Jack and soda, right? Oh my god. I was just thinking, I should have said, you have to have Jack and Coke, right? Because Jack and Coke is like an alcoholic drink. I am just so funny, you guys, sometimes. So funny. It is after midnight, so I am going to go ahead and say goodnight to you guys. But I wanted to show you guys Alondra's room because I just wanted to, like, finish it up like I didn't want to leave it I mean it's not 100% finished but I mean like I didn't want to what am I saying English Brittany I didn't want to just leave like I didn't want to I wanted to finish what I started wow wow I don't know why that was so difficult to say so anyways it's basically done like all of her boxes I just have like baby stuff to sort out but I'm obviously not going to put her baby stuff um in here because she doesn't need her mama roo because well she didn't even like it when she was a baby but anyways i did take out some of her toys that are baby toys i put them in a bag i don't know what i'm going to do with them part of me is like keep them but then i don't know so anyways but they're in a bag and out of her room because she's not a baby anymore but let me just show you because i like the way it looks so here's the door the entrance the dresser the piano all of this is not staying where it is. It's just here for right now because we don't know where it's going to go. Um, we have the bed that we still need to paint, but it's been raining all week, so we can't paint it. But we're going to paint it white, and then we're going to put it along this wall here. I don't think it's going to take up the whole wall. I think that will be too long. But clearly, I am not a good judge of measuring because... I thought our bed and dresser wasn't going to fit and we have plenty of space. So I want to see what that looks like laid out. Once that's laid out, then I will be able to lay out the rest of the room better. Um, like I said, that is probably going to go in our room, but I don't know if we should put it in our room now or if we should just leave it and let Alondra utilize it. I'm just scared about leaving it in here, utilizing it for something, and then like having to buy another one or I don't know what I'm trying to say but anyways that's my thought process behind this but if anything I might put like her books in those two shelves and then I don't know what about the two bottom ones but if anything I might yeah put like books in the two shelves if we utilize it I don't know if I like that there if it is gonna stay in here um why is my camera not focusing all right we're focused now so I don't know if that's gonna stay there I just hate that it covers some of the window do you guys see how it covers like some of the window like, I don't know, that bothers me. I don't like when furniture does that. So, number one, we don't know if this is going to stay in here. Because if it does go in our room, I don't know. I just feel like it might be weird to put this in our room and put cloth diapers in it when there's no baby. But, I mean, 
baby, you can come any, any day now. Come on. Come on, eggs. But anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't like that it covers part of the window if it stays here. If it stays here, I'll probably put books and then I'll figure out the bottom too. And then it will leave up. Let me show you guys the closet here. Then here's the closet. Um, it probably looks like super crammed, but here's her book bags and her hats. The little house up in here. I mean, if anything too, if I don't like these hanging here, I could always put them like in these because if I move her two books into that big white thing, it will give me two cubbies. And then I don't have room for her Play-Doh. That's what I was thinking about. So anyways, this is like her little craft thing. And I can always move the craft thing in there too. And I can always move those into there. So like I could free up all four of these and put them in there. And then all four of these can house like her baby dolls. Because her baby dolls are over there and I don't know where to put them. So yeah, I mean honestly, these are from Ikea. I'm pretty sure they're super cheap. So if I needed to buy another one... Just suck it up, Chuck, and just buy another one. So yeah, I think I just answered my own thoughts. But comment down below. Let me know what you guys think I should do. Should I move these four shelves? So this is like crayons. This is literally like crayons, markers, washi, um, little like coloring books, big coloring books, and her little like cover up. This is like teach like my toddler, like learn to read. And then these are all books. So should I move these four shelves? Because I kind of want the Play-Doh in here. Just so it's not like out in the main bedroom. But anyways. Should I move these four into here? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. But I don't want to move it yet. I'll probably keep it like this for now. Until I know exactly how the furniture layout is going to be. Because if you guys say I should move these four into this i don't want to like have to move it because you know books are going to fall because this is like has no back you know this is the actual wall so anyways comment down below let me know what your guys' thoughts on a couple of those things and in case i fuse the hell out of any of you like what i'm asking first question is this guy does this guy look good here even though it is covering the window okay that is the first question second question is should I move those top four cubes in to here? Or it would be cute because she's a girl to have her baby dolls like all in one. Oh, that would be super cute. Like I could put like the two books. The baby dolls could sit up top there, but then she can't reach them. So no, I don't like that. Um, but yeah, I could do like two books and then like baby dolls down there. I don't know. I'll figure it out, but just comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Cause I do think the baby dolls being like out on display would be cute. So yeah, I don't know how the layout is going to be because of that. Another big thing, which you guys might think is like so crazy to think about, but we have to think about it. Um, we got her major Christmas present. We got it at Costco and I'm so glad we bought it when we did. Like I thought like, okay, it's October. Christmas is not for two months. Why the, uh, we're, yeah, two months. Why are we buying this right now? But if you guys don't know this about Costco, if you see something and you like it, more than like, especially if it's seasonal, like toys, you buy it because more than likely it'll sell out. Costco has an amazing return policy, so you can return whatever the hell you want, basically whenever you want. So, like, if we change our minds, we can return it. So, it's seriously, memory card is gonna drive me freaking bonkers because it keeps running out of memory. Anyways, um, now I don't even know what I was saying. Oh lord what were we talking about talking about the bedroom oh shit i don't know my brain is fried the christmas present so yeah that thing is massive i think it's 54 inches in length there was two versions there's like a smaller one and there was a mansion we got her the mansion because we're like oh she'll love this and it has so many more features and it's only 50 dollars more but it's massive it's 54 inches wide so just to give you guys like an eye to like see what how big that is i had edom center this right center this to the wall let me close this door and yeah we wanted her tent to go here but now i don't think that's gonna work i feel like trying to do this room is so confusing because of this big ass window and this window it like oh, excuse my language sorry it's driving me nuts because i don't like furniture covering windows that's like it, i don't know it irks me and it's like why all the windows like why can it just be like one small window or just this guy that way because i feel like i'm losing all this wall space right here anyways anyways i'm going off on a tangent 
Um, so anyways, yeah, this big old wall here. So I had it on center it. The dresser doesn't need to be centered. So this to here, I believe is 45 inches. I believe is what it was or 40 inches or third. Was it 34? What I don't know, it was either 34 or 45. Anyways, we need 54 inches. So the dollhouse is longer than this piece of wall here. Longer than this piece of wall here. Iran was saying, oh, we could just put it here. But then obviously it's going to go, I think, like this much into the window. And like I said, that is a pet peeve of mine. I do not. No, 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 no. I do not like that. Um, but I mean, I guess the bed doesn't have to go there. But I just feel like the bed would look best, like more aesthetically pleasing on this wall. Like you walk in and it's like the bed is over there. Or I don't know. Do you guys think the bed would be good over here? I don't know, but I don't want like, uh, I don't know you guys. I just need the bed put together and I think I'll be able to figure shit out. So anyways, we're gonna move this over. But because this dollhouse is so damn big, I have to think about like how I'm gonna set up her room. And a part of me almost wants to get the small dollhouse just because it's smaller and it's gonna be easier to set up her room. I sound crazy. I'm sure everything's gonna work out, but it's seriously stressing me out to the point where I just wanna open that freaking thing right now and give it to her so I can exactly see how to do it. But I'm not going to, it's for Christmas. So it is for Christmas and I'm not gonna put from Santa. That fat man is not gonna be getting credit for that freaking dollhouse. And it's annoying too because she already knows she has it. She already knows. So it's like, <laughs> and she won't forget. Trust me, she does not forget. My child does not. It's good, she doesn't have my brain. But anyways, yeah, this is so far her room closet is basically done i mean there's like a lot of things i want to get like rid of and like those two tubs of stuff is not gonna stay and i don't have everything like set in stone but at least boxes are unpacked and things are done so yeah this is not like the final product but if you guys are really good with aesthetically pleasing ideas let me know because i don't know why i'm having such a brain fart with this room I, I, it's the dollhouse it's the windows this guy is gonna stay right here because i wanted something to fit perfectly between these like uh frames because it's like i don't want to leave, just leave this like wall empty and no the piano doesn't fit there no the toy chest doesn't fit there i i already tried and that guy does but then you covers the light switches so that doesn't work so this was like all i could think of and i wanted to use up that wall space because i'm losing that wall space and i'm using this huge wall space I mean, yeah, I know windows are nice to have, but I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Also, too, maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to cover the windows because I am nervous about her breaking, like, um, these things because she likes to pull on these, and I'm not trying to have her break it. But it would be nice to have this big window. So maybe I could... <sighs> I'm done rambling, you guys. I'm done because I'm tired and I need to go to bed. So anyways... I probably sound so crazy right now, but this is just, you know, how my mind is just working. It's not working clearly though, but all right, comment down below. Let me guys know, because I need your help. Help me, ayudame. But all right, I'm gonna go night nights because it's time for bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I swear I'm not this crazy. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye muchachos. <laughs>